Today's video is on updating the maps on your Garmin GPS. The first thing you have to do is go into Google and type in Garmin Lifetime Maps and Traffic. That top hit is the one you want and if we click on that we're going to go into the support section and download the software we need. So let's click on support and then software and what we're interested in here is Garmin Express. That's the software we're going to use to update our maps. So in my case it's Windows 10. So we're going to say download for Windows. And once this is done, now I'm not sure if you're using Google Chrome or Edge or Internet Explorer. I recommend using Google Chrome just for safety's sake but if it's Internet Explorer you may have a choice to run it in my case I think with Chrome it asks me to open it or I can go to the file location and double click on it so I'll just choose the open now, I will say this too that if you uh, have an older GPS you're not going to be able to update it unless the name has either LM or LMT. Here's a picture of the side of my GPS and you can see mine's a Nuvi uh, 50 LM. If Whatever it is, if it says LM or LMT, you're going to be able to update the maps for free. If it doesn't, you're better off just getting uh, a new one because the map updates, if you had to pay for them, aren't worth it. So, anyways, uh, We've got our download here and I'm just going to click on open and we'll start the install and of course I'll agree and say yes to the user account control message. I'll also say that if your Garmin doesn't have a cable that will plug into it with a USB end then you're not going to be able to perform this update so if you don't have that cable you're going to have to go get that as well I'm sure you can get that on Amazon or uh, the Garmin site I, it would probably be much more affordable to get it on Amazon. So, okay, this app on your PC needs the following feature, Net 2.0 and 3.0. So, we're going to go ahead and say yes to this, otherwise it's not going to work properly. And while that's running, let's, uh, let's go see if we can go to Amazon and find a cable if you don't have one. Mine's an LM50. So yeah, there's there's plenty of them out there. Um, it's a uh, USB 2.0 cable to uh, Mini B, and you can see they're only five dollars, so no big deal. But make sure you have that before you even start, or you won't be able to update your GPS. Uh, I haven't bought a GPS in a while. They may be included with the new ones. I'm not sure, but. Anyways, let's uh, go back to our install. And we're still working on this. There are other GPS models out there that just end with a T model for traffic only and I don't believe you're going to be able to put any map updates on it. Those are for people who are more worried about traffic congestion than following a map. They know where they're going. So um, once again you need to just 
go in and check your serial number and if it ends with an LM or LMT you're going to be good to go for a free one. All right, so we're installing these features in order for Garmin Express to work properly. Hopefully this won't take us much longer and we carry on with the update. Another good idea too is to make sure that your Garmin is fully charged before you start this, um, just in case you were to lose power and you were doing the update on a laptop. So anyways, that's all installed now. So we can move ahead and launch Garmin Express. All right, let's click on the get started. And we're going to add a device. And now it's prompting us to plug in our device. So let's go ahead. I'm going to turn on my Garmin and plug in via my USB. Okay. That's turned on. And hopefully with any luck at all, we're going to find our device soon. Okay, this is found it. All we need now is to have Carmen Express find it. And there it is, our new V50. Click Add Device. And... Okay, I do not want to register this. Let's see if it allows us to continue. And it does, so we'll just take the default nickname, New V50. We could even put on here, you know, my name, Jim, if I wanted to, in case my wife had one. And we're checking for updates. Okay, setup complete. Well, all right, so now tools and content. And I'm hoping it's under utilities. I guess uh, it's a good idea to back up what we have here now. So, so anyways, let's back this up to uh, the default under my documents. All right. Well, we did our backup, but I sure as heck don't see where we're going to be able to go in and go for an update here. Okay. So here we go. Um, I did a refresh and it says updates available. And that's why it probably didn't give me the option of uh, doing my update because we have to install this update. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say install all. And I'll just pause the video. And once we're done here, 
getting all the updates, I'll continue. So I'll see you in a minute after this is done. All right, after about a minute or so, finally this uh, terms and conditions screen came up, so I wanted to show you that. I'll hit accept, and we'll hit continue. And at this point, it looks like it's going to take a while to update. We'll, we'll hang on here for a minute. Yeah, it says 31 minutes, 30, well, looks like it's going to be closer to an hour. So I'll pause this video again. Once this update is done, we'll continue. Okay, that download finished, and that took approximately 20 minutes. And now it looks like it's going to take another 25 minutes or so to install the actual map. So I'm going to pause again and wait for this thing to finish, and we'll see you then. Okay, 32 minutes later, we're at 99.9, 100%, and we're up to date. So really, once we started the uh, update, it did everything on its own. So fairly easy, but not quick, not something you want to do the day of your trip. And once again, if you can't find that USB cable that came with your unit, most of them do come with it. I checked that. You know, the, the newer ones say uh, USB cable included and the older ones do. But uh, if you can't find it, no big deal, cheap enough. Just make sure you get USB 2.0 mail to a mini B. That's the key is mini. You don't want micro or it won't fit. And uh, some of them actually say they're for garments, but as long as it says USB 2.0 cable to Mini B, you are good to go. So that's it for our video. Your uh, Garmin is up to date, and it's always a good idea to update them at least once a year. New exits, new construction sites, uh, sure will make it easy for you to get lost if you don't perform those updates. So that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel and we'll see you next video.